video, I'm going to show you how to work with our automated marketing campaigns. So first of all, you will need to go to your drip messages campaign and you will need to create a new campaign. In this example, I'm going to show you a campaign based on new leads. So whenever a new lead comes in, this is when this automation will kick in. Just remember that all the automations that we created are based on a new record. So basically when a new lead is being created, when a new contact is being created or when a deal is being created. Whenever a new lead comes in, I will need to select first of all, if it's a lead contact or a deal. In my case, it will be a lead, okay? So when a new lead comes in, then uh, something will happen. And right now you see that the messages campaign owner is James, myself in this case, and also what is the status of this trip, which right now is active. And if you don't want it to be active, you just change it to inactive and it will not work anymore. Once you click on save on the left side, you will see that you have message templates. Those will be the sequenced text messages that will be sent to those new leads. If I will click on the plus button, I will write here. So let's say send on a new lead. So whenever lead is coming in, I will write here A, and then I will need the first name. Now, I will show you in a second how to retrieve the variables, basically what Zoe will consider, let's say, as a first name or last name. But right now, I just write it myself, and it usually starts with, num with dollar sign, with curly brackets, and then the variable, which I will show you in a second, how to type, and you close with curly brackets, okay? So the dollar sign opening curly brackets and ending curly brackets will always be the variable that is going inside. And inside you will have the variable name, which I will show you in a second how to retrieve. So in this case, I will write a, let's say in this case, Lior Isaac, or first name it's Lior, please call me to discuss the deal. Now, below you will have uh, three different ways that you can delay. You can delay based on days, based on minutes, or based on hours. In my case, I like to create a delay of 15 minutes so it will look natural. So when a new lead comes in, it won't, the SMS will not be triggered immediately because obviously you will feel it's a bot. So in this case, I will have 15 minutes delay, nothing in the days and nothing in the hours, okay? Now, here the SMS number is basically your sequence. So if that is going to be message number one, I will select your message number one. The next message that I'm going to create will be message number two and then three and four. And this is how the system knows when to send the messages. So let's click here on save. And you have here the first one. I recommend you to click on the rectangle and to have here the SMS number and also the message. It will help you a lot to understand the sequence. And I'm going to create a new message. So this message will be one day after lead created. And the name that I am choosing here will be any name that you like to work with. And I would say again, A, and then number sign, a dollar sign, curly brackets, first name, close. Uh, did you receive my previous SMS or message? So you can see here that I am just simulating the same behavior that the human will have. And that will be one day after. And the sequence will be number two, and I'm going to save it. 
So here you can see that message number one will be let's discuss the deal and message number two will be if you received my previous text message. And of course, you can run more and more and more. At that point, because the campaign that I created is active, and let's go to my SMS campaigns. Because the SMS campaign is active, whenever a new lead comes in, 15 minutes later, it will send the first message. And then after a day, it will send the second message. Now that will happen as long as the person did not respond. It's important to understand that when SMS is being received from the lead contact or the deal, we're stopping the automated messages because in that point, probably the client or said, stop, don't send me anymore. Or he may be said that he wants to talk to you. In both cases, there is no place for automated messages. In case that you want to send more, you can send manually as many SMS as you want. There is no problem at all. 